I was located in Isafjörður when this happened. We were having a meeting in our facility in Isafjörður when all of a sudden the light started to blink. Uh, we had no idea what was going on and we instantly thought that something was malfunctioning in our facility or something was wrong with the equipment. But later we learned that there had been an accident uh, in town. I don't remember anything about the accident or even the months before. But the only thing I know about this is what my colleague told me, that we were on scene when this ha accident happened. Yes, I know that uh, this kind of accident only happens when, uh, when you create some kind of circuit from high voltage power line towards earth connection. Later that day, we learned that the doctors in Reykjavík wanted to treat Pietur with keresis, and as there was no scheduled flight from Isafjörður that day, I drove with the product for uh, about five or six hours to Reykjavík that evening, and that was then used on Pietur the very next morning. The first information I got from the doctors in Isafjörður were um, that he was not having so bad injuries, but when he came to the emergency room in Reykjavík, the doctors told me he was in a very bad situation. My name is Hatla Fráðadóttir. I am a plastic surgeon at Landspitali University Hospital of Reykjavík. I was uh, the attending plastic surgeon on call when Pietur arrived to the hospital. Pieter sustained a severe burn injury to his upper body with deep thermal burns of almost 50% of his total body surface area. Later, the doctors in the emergency room told me they never thought he would make it. We used keresis from the beginning. For the chest area, we used keresis as a cover after debridement and the keresis coverage, it was sufficient to promote healing of the area. Because Iceland being a, a, a small country, and so when there is a burn, you know, it, it almost always makes the headlines. And then most of the time, you know, there will be some interactions between the burn surgeons at Landspitali and this instance with Hatla and myself. All of a sudden, everybody is in the loop immediately. And this happens time and time again in Iceland because we are such a small country. But the collaboration and cooperation with Hatla and the plastic surgeons at Landspitali has been really rewarding. I am here in Reykjavík after rehabilitation and I have been here for uh, two months now. The whole family have been in deal with the situation with serenity. I'm so lucky that uh, my daughter lives here in Reykjavik and my grandson, 11 months old, is, is quite a good rehabilitation for just playing with him and doing whatever I can. Uh, there is nothing we can change today what happened, but we are very grateful uh, for the life today and he is alive. It's hard, but it's going well, quite well. My goal now is to build the strength to be able to go cross-country skiing during the winter and finishing my yearly Fossavas marathon, ski marathon. I think without Keresis, he would probably not be alive today. Take it or leave it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>